Allow me to say that the SpaceX launch of human beings to orbit on May 30th, 2020 was seen by many as the first step in a new era of human space exploration. These human spaceflight missions were a beacon of hope to me and to millions over the past two years as our world has been going through one of the most difficult periods in recent human history. We saw, we see the rise of division, fear, cynicism, and the loss of common humanity right when it is needed most. So first, Elon, let me say thank you for giving the world hope and reason to be excited about the future. Oh, it's kind of you to say it. I do want to do that. Humanity has uh, obviously a lot of issues and, and uh, you know, people at times do, do bad things, but, you know, despite all that, um, you know, I, I love humanity and I think we should uh, make sure we do everything we can to have a good future and, and an exciting future and, and one where that maximizes the happiness of the people. Let me ask about uh, Crew Dragon Demo 2. So that, that first flight with humans on board, um, how did you feel leading up to that launch? Were you scared? Were you excited? What was going through your mind? So much was at stake. Yeah, no, that was extremely stressful, no question. Um, we obviously could not um, let them down in any way. Um, so extremely stressful, I'd say, uh, to say the least. But we did, I was confident that at the time that we launched that no one could think of anything uh, at all to do that would improve the probability of success. Um, and we, we racked our brains to think of any possible way to improve the probability of success. And we could not think of anything more and, and nor could NASA. And so and that, that's just the best that we could do. So then we, we, had, we went ahead and launched. Now, I'm not a religious person, um, but I nonetheless got on my knees and prayed for that mission. Were you able to sleep? No. <laughs> How did it feel when it was a success? First, when the launch was a success and when they returned back home or back to Earth? It was a great relief. Yeah. It, it, for, for high stress situations, I find it's, it's not so much elation as relief. Um, and, um, you know, I think once, as, as we, we got more comfortable and proved out the systems, because, you know, we, we really, um, you know, you got to make sure everything works. Um, I was, it was definitely a lot more uh, enjoyable with the subsequent uh, astronaut uh, missions. And I thought the the inspiration mission was was actually very inspiring um inspiration for mission um I'd, I'd encourage people to watch the inspiration documentary on netflix it's actually really good um and it really is inspired I, I was actually inspired by that um and i i, I so that one i felt I, I was kind of able to enjoy the the actual mission and not just be super stressed all the time so for people that somehow don't know it's the all civilian first time all civilian out to space, out to orbit. Yeah, and it was, the high, I think, the highest orbit that uh, in like, I don't know, 30 or 40 years or something. The only one that was higher was the one shuttle, uh, sorry, a Hubble uh, servicing mission. Um, and then before that, it would have been um, Apollo in 72. It's pretty wild. So it's, it's cool, it's good. You, you know, I think uh, as, you know, at, as a species, like we want to be, you know, continuing to do better and, and reach higher ground. And, and like, I think it would be tragic, extremely tragic if um, Apollo was the high water mark for humanity, you know, and, that, and that's as far as we ever got. Um, and it's, um, it's concerning that here we are um, 49 years after the last mission to the moon. And so almost half a century uh, and we've not been back. Um, and that's that's worrying. It's like, is that does that mean we've peaked as a civilization or, or what? So, like, I think we we got to get back to the moon and, and build a base there. You know, a science base. I think we could learn a lot about the nature of the universe if we have a proper science base on the moon. Um, you know, like we have a, a science base in Antarctica and you know many other parts of the world. And um, so that that that's I think the next big thing we've got to have like a, a serious like moon base um, and then get people to Mars and, you know, get, get out there and be a space bearing civilization. I'll ask you about some of those details, but 
since you're so busy with the hard engineering challenges of everything that's involved, are you, are you still able to marvel at the magic of it all, of space travel, of every time the rocket goes up, especially when it's a crewed mission? Or are you just so overwhelmed with the, all the challenges that you have to solve? And actually, sort of to add to that, the reason I, I wanted to ask this question of May 30th, it's, it's been some time so you can look back and think about the impact already. It's already, at the time, it was an engineering problem maybe. Now it's becoming a historic moment. Like it's a moment that, how many moments will be remembered about the 21st century? To me, that or something like that, maybe Inspiration4, or one of those will be remembered as the early steps of a new age of uh, space exploration. Yeah, I mean, during the launches itself, so I mean, the, the thing I think maybe some people know, but a lot of people don't know, is like, I'm actually the chief engineer of SpaceX. So, um, the, you know, I've signed off on pretty much all the design decisions. Um, and, you know, so if, if there's something that goes wrong with that vehicle, it's, it's fundamentally my fault, you know. So, um, so I'm really just thinking about all the things that like so so when i see the rocket i see all the things that could go wrong and the things that could be better and the same with the dragon spacecraft it's uh, like other people will say oh this is a, a spacecraft or a rocket and that's, this looks really cool i'm like i've i've like a readout of like this is the these are these are the risks these are the pro problems that's what i see like ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> so it's not what other people see when they see the product you know 